Tony, behind us here we've got this Corian Norma L machine. Um, it's actually machining at the moment and some of the some of the machining you're doing here really is something else. We don't often see this degree of industry on our channel. Um, when did you actually purchase this Norma machine? Uh, this is a very recent purchase. Uh, it was installed uh, August this year and uh, I, basically it was a very good installation and it was up and running within a couple of weeks of uh, this final sign off and it's been producing uh, good parts uh, for a few weeks now. Well it's DTS that supply these in the UK and have been for some time in fact the Courier is a is a worldwide uh, popular um, indus industrial brand. What are you machining on here? Tell us about the material and tell us about the parts that you're doing. Okay, the, the, the parts that we're machining, the, the base material is uh, a, a steel, standard steel uh, but it's hot, it's it's surfaced over hard surface over overlay, uh, which is a, an acylloy C22 material, which is a very uh, tough material, uh, rather than hard. It's around about 40, 45 Rockwell, uh, but it's the toughness that creates its its own issues uh, with a uh, method of manufacture. Now, what we're going to do while this video is playing is we'll put some overlays over the top of the footage as to the actual rotors okay. so people can see the part or the, yeah. or the finished part. Now um, on here at the moment isn't a, a, a full rotor but I believe you do have them on here standing up on their end yes. and doing the profile machining. Yes we do and you'll be able to see that on the uh, second courier that we're doing the, the profiling of a rotor um, but other of the machines are capable of doing the same processes. You know. um, Correa talk a lot about their head technology. This has got a UAD head on it, yeah. which means you can get to multiple positions. Yeah. How advantageous is that for oh, you here? It's, it's, uh, it's surprisingly uh, a, a very big, well, it's a very big advantage for us. Uh, we, we have a lot of standard angles, but the part that it's machining at the moment um, has a few variations where it goes from 30 degree angle to 31 degrees which doesn't sound a big problem, but the original machine that we had, which only had a 2.5, uh, 0 0.01 head, uh, couldn't manage a standard 30 degree angle. This now head, which has got 0 .2, 0 0.02 by 0 0.02, can actually machine any, any, any angle there's millions of positions. Millions, I millions, yeah. um, but, but the thing about this as well, it's not just the positional, it's about that clamping force and the rigidity in the head, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Because we can hear in the background, yeah. uh, you know, how, how, much, how much machining you're doing here and, the, and the, the type of machining. So do you find that that gives you enough rigidity too? That's, that's one of the um, reasons we visited back to Toria uh, when we were looking for our last two uh, recent uh, investments. We went out to the market again, and uh, one of our um, prerequisites really is heavy, heavy machining. Um, as you've seen, some of the parts that we're machining are come, they not just weigh, uh, you know, several tons, but uh, they can end up with, you know, 15, 20, 30 millimeters of stock on that needs removing as quickly as possible. And evidently, as well, intermittent cutting, where the the spindle yeah. is literally finishing a pass and then hitting it straight into the material as well. Yes. So that inertia needs to be you need to be you know solid. Correct. Yes, it does. It needs to be solid. And one of the reasons we uh, went back to Courier again is that the ram is supported in four corners, um, so it, it provides that rigid uh, machine tool at, 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 with the full extent of the ram it still get the same performance as you do when it's close to the column. Uh, it's a 50 taper machine, it it's is. about 35 kilowatts I think on the spindle, 6,000 RPM isn't it? Yes. Perfect for what you're doing. Yes. The, the 6,000 RPM is, is, is a, a bonus of our previous machine which only had 4,000 RPM. Uh, there, there's certain applications that we've now uh, adopting some uh, high speed machining techniques in terms of uh, trichoidal milling etc and uh, the a higher uh, spindle speed lends itself perfectly for that, these applications. Um, having a look at it, I mean, the, the, the proof here really is in the visuals, and I tell you, this it's great to come out to installations like this. Yeah. I also just want to touch on here the pendulum machining aspect, because with this size of Norma, about seven meters uh, uh, of axis stroke yeah. means you can put your pe means you can put your, your division in the middle, and as we see here, be able to set up the second side. Exactly, and uh, that's that was the intention of the. Uh, uh, the pendulum system is so that uh, this particular component it's machining now, um, we machine the base 
of these components, then put them on a, a, a fixture which then uh, machines the profile. And the idea is, is that we machine the bases on one fixture and then move them across uh, you know, when we get to the, the profile in operation so that every second cycle, it's act, in effect, it's acting like a twin pilot machine tool. But you've also got the added bonus that you can take the pendulum out and we've got the length to do any long shaft work. A few machines in the market, this style, the, the sort of uh, travelling travelling column style machine. Um, you selected Correa. You've got a, a wash with different brands in here, Tony. Right. Were you just assured by the fact that these guys are expertise in this field? There's that, and uh, we did have a we, we have got some experience with Correa. Um, you know, we've got a, a machine which is now probably six, seven years old, um, albeit. Uh, a forerunner to these machines, you know. Um, but again, we've uh, we've visited Corrie. We've also, like I mentioned earlier, we've been out to the rest of the market for similar type machines um, when we were tendering for this these these machines. And um, Corrie came to uh, you know ended up with a, a good overall package. And we've, like I said, we've got experience of the quality of the the machine build. And all backed up by DTS, which is key here in the UK. Uh, yeah, again, it's, uh, DTS again, where we're situated, which is just uh, east of Manchester. DTS is headquarters is what 20, 25, 30 miles away, so it's uh, relatively on the door to uh, response. So there you have it. One installation, an enormous L. Look at the applications they're doing here. Really are a lot different to what you often see on our channel. Uh, these can be purchased from DTS in the UK. Experts in powerful, precision, high-speed uh, travelling column machines.